Hi, I'm Leslie Meredith with Breakbulk Events and Media. I'm here in Houston at Breakbulk Americas with Michael Horvath um, of Revanova. Did I get it? You got it. All right. Um, he's just finished a fantastic presentation about technology in our industry, so I've invited him here to give us some of the high points. What is it that people should have taken away from your talk? I think the big takeaway is that our industry really needs to start thinking about digitalizing, you know, making their data digital, and so they can exchange it more effectively, and so they can collaborate with their other partners and their customers more effectively. If you look at our industry today, I like to say it's the it's the combination of the highest tech and the lowest tech. Okay. You know, there's, you know, when you look at you know the different modes of transportation, ground operators and stuff. Sometimes they just have can send you a PDF document and talk to you on the phone, and that's about it, right? And you right. can look at some of the more sophisticated uh, carriers. They have all kinds of automation, and so our world we have to deal with it all, right? Because you might be dealing with a carrier that has very low automation and some that have very high automation. Of course, your customers have a high expectation of getting all that information whenever they want it, right? Right, which we can probably attribute a little bit to Amazon. Uh, a lot to Amazon. <laughs> okay. yeah, actually, the business to consumer space is driven it, is driving those expectations. Millennials that are moving into the marketplace now have a really, you know, they're social media savvy, instant information, short bursts of information. And so our industry, I think, needs to change to adapt to the new kind of communications models as well as the expectation model of information that's delivered when you want it, where you want it, and when you need it. Right, but ordering, I don't know, a book from Amazon is a little bit different than the cargo that our guys are sending around the world. So doesn't that make it more complicated? It's absolutely more complicated, but it doesn't necessarily change the expectations. Okay. Uh, you know, talking to customers all the time, they sort of like, hey, if the, you know, you can track this super fast transaction, you know, through this warehouse. Why can't I track a giant generator that's moving across the country? Um, why can't I get a price on that more effectively? I know it's more complicated, but I think that, you know the goal should be to try to make it less complicated through the use of technology, if you can, where you can, to take advantage of those. Uh, Do we need a common platform across the supply chain? Well, I think that in an ideal world, it'd be perfect, right? But I don't think that's ever going to be the real world. You know, a common platform across the entire supply chain. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. We're thinking okay. big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, blockchain, right? You know, people talk about blockchain, and will blockchain be that kind of common you know, platform to exchange information and you know, as it moves around the global network? Um, I think it could be. Um, the question is, when it gets implemented, will it be um, one blockchain or a thousand blockchains? And, you know, there are a lot of people developing that right exactly. now. Exactly. And so I think at the end of the day, it's, it's going to come down to what our talk was about today was you're going to have to be have a, you're going to have to choose a platform for your business, whatever side of the supply chain you're on, that has a lot of connectivity options and that you should work with your partners strategically to connect as tightly as you can. Right. And that way you can start to share information. And whether that's through a blockchain, you know, and today we see people with EDI and API and web services and blockchains or semi PDFs and I need automation to digest them and automate automate those. It's it's gonna be a combination of those things for a long time and, and, and the good news is the technology is all there to do it. Right. So you just that gotta put the vendors together. Yeah, that is good. So tell me just a little bit, what does Revanova do? So we are a, a solution provider, cloud application provider for transportation management systems. And so our mission was basically born out of uh, my co-founder's uh, experience at Schneider Logistics running their brokerage arm. Siloed systems, we call it swivel chair users. You know, I've got a system for LTL, I got a system for freight forwarding, I got a system that talks to certain carriers, I put my rates over here, I got my customer relationship management over here, I've got my compliance management over here, and uh, you know, it's seven logins. Who's talking to each other, right? So connectivity yeah. between the applications. So what we did is we just endeavored to say, you know, we're going to find a really robust global cloud platform, we chose salesforce.com, and we're gonna put transportation management tools for all modes on it. And so you can now put your carrier relationship management functionality, your marketing, your sales, your customer relationship management, along with all your transportation management on one cloud platform with an integrated database so you can store big data and get big data analytics out of it, and, you, and still has all the connectivity options to you know your vendor partners that are using other technologies and or a blockchain or EDI partners. So you still have you still have those connectivity points, but trying to make all the things that you would use internally all work together very seamlessly. The analogy I like to use is like a cell phone. Think of your Android or Apple phone. One platform, all your apps, sharing your contact database. 
that's really what we're offering is the ecosystem of Salesforce has about 3,000 business applications on it. We were the first transportation, multimodal transportation app on it. And when you combine what they can do with a trans multimodal transportation management app, as well as accounting or warehouse management or all the other apps that are out there, but they all share common data. They all share the same security model, reporting infrastructure, big data, uh, artificial intelligence tools that you can layer against it. It becomes very powerful and allows you to just focus on the connectivity you have to do versus things that you've kind of, oops, kind of shot yourself in the head by buying a lot of things that weren't coordinated. And, and you know, in the past, you just didn't have the opportunity, but now with the new cloud infrastructures, you do. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that information with us. You're welcome. All right.